Hello guys, and today I have a brand new top 10 list for you. It is top 10 Dragon Ball Z characters, and number 10 is not Goku. And um, it's... Wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it... Eventually. Um, no, not Goku. Freezer. Yeah, there we go. Um, but anyway, yeah. Actually, it's more specifically Final Form Freezer. Because Final Form Freezer is pretty awesome. He stands around shouting stuff and things happen, basically. I don't even like Golden Freezer that much, but I haven't even seen the film Resurrection yet. Actually, I'm, I'm only halfway through season 3. In fact, I'm only halfway through this fight. And, like, Goku's got the spirit bomb and everything. And that's pretty much happened. Okay. So, that. That's number 10 for you. And. Hello, guys. Uh, oh, wait. I've already said that, haven't I? Oops. Well, uh, ninth character is still not Goku. It's just Goku's in Dragon Ball Z too much. It's Krillin, everybody. The, the little gold midget person. Oops. Anyway, um, Krillin died a lot in the history. This was his first death in Dragon Ball. And it basically continues like this because Krillin likes to die uh, a lot. You see? Um, Krillin just has a habit of falling over and dying, basically. That's how Dragon Ball Z goes for him. Um, it's sad, but he's cool, and his daughter looks like him in drag, except a midget version. And he gets hair eventually, which is good for him. Um, yeah. The thing is, I haven't actually seen him die then since I never saw Dragon Ball, and I haven't got up to this bit in season 3, but never mind. Hmm, uh, let's just watch this. Hey, Krillin. Hey, hey, you want to see Krillin's impression of Chatsu? You, you, you want to see it? You want to see it? It's actually really good. Well, watch it. Watch it. It's, it's really good as Chatsu. He really seems like Chatsu. How come two of the Z fighters have tendencies to explode in the air? Chatsu and Krillin, you are both very strange people. Hello guys. Oh, that's the third time I've said that. Sorry, have it. Very sorry. Anyway, next is still not Goku. Still. It's Cell. Perfect Cell to be precise. And because Perfect Cell is a pretty cool guy, to say the least. And, ooh, what's going on? Alright. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I haven't actually seen this episode, so I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, Perfect Cell kind of looks like Frieza, in a way. In a way. And but anyway, he's like just ask Ben about him. Ben loves him. Well, um, well, he's like Ben's favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. Ev everyone likes Cell, really, kind of. He's a pretty cool guy. If if you kill him, then he'll regenerate from one cell, one living cell, and. He has three forms, imperfect, 
you know, imperfect, semi-perfect, and perfect. And he also has these little blue midgets called Cell Genius. They're weird, I have to say. Very strange. Number seven is Gohan, because, you know, he's pretty cool. No, that isn't Gohan. Oops, sorry about that. I'll just pretend that never happened. Gohan is the guy who stuffed off with that really stupid kid. Um, stubborn. There's a fellow in the there's Piccolo. And he grew up to be a good fighter, really. He grew up to become an adult. Like some people do. Other people don't. Um. Like. Clellan. Clellan never grew up. Well, it, it, it doesn't look like he did. But anyway, Gohan. Gohan's a good guy. He was trained by Piccolo while Goku was dead. And um, I'm not sure if he's been dead or not yet. I think Super Boo might have killed him. And um, did he? Super Boo probably killed him at one point. I don't know. Really. Yeah, anyway, Gohan is a good guy. He used to have a four star Dragon Ball on his hat. He's, he's a kid for most of it, but when he's an adult, he's a pretty awesome guy. Um, you see, he wears sunglasses. He was even a superhero in Battle of the Gods. Yes, I've seen Battle of the Gods, please, and I'm only halfway through season three. That's okay, right, though? Right? Uh, what do I care? Oh, yeah, he can go Super Saiyan. And stuff because coolness always wins. Uh, hi again, it's number six time, and now it's time for a really, really kind of scary guy in Dragon Ball Z, and the final main bad guy at that. It is Super Boo. Um, he kind of looks like a worm guy just behind Crow in there. And then he turns people into chocolate and eats them. Yeah, you, you see? Horrible. He's a messed up guy, and he also sucks people in and turns them into him. Like parts of him. At points, he actually, yeah, he grabs them with this goo and then sucks the goo into him. So the people he grabs become him. It's horrible. In a way, horrible, horrible. Horrible. Yeah, just horrible. Super Boo is a pretty scary guy. He even sucked in Gohan and Gotenks, which is a mixture between Gohan's younger son and Vegeta's son, which is horrible because they're both only like seven at the time. I'm sure they were delinquent, but Super Boo is so scary. Yes guys, it's final time for Goku on the list, and yes, he's a cool guy, really cool. I mean, no one else has ever just been able to do some of the things that he can do, basically. He is awesome. And for some reason in this scene, everyone's got their eyes closed. I'm, I'm not sure why. They just do. But anyway, Goku is a boss. He was the first to turn Super Saiyan. I'm, I'm not sure if he was the first to turn Super Saiyan 2. He was definitely the first to turn Super Saiyan 3, which we're looking at right now. He is a boss. So he managed to beat up Nappa, even though it was um, Vegeta who killed him. He managed to beat up Vegeta a bit, and he managed to beat up all of the Ginyu Fourth, 
and he was the only one who stood a chance against Fraser and then turned to the thing to finish him off. He is an awesome guy, really impressive. Also, he's an alien, which is nice to know. He's very good, very awesome, and stuff. But yes, you're only number five, so you're still gonna have to guess at number four, three, two, and one. But he's, he's awesome, let's just say. Just awesome. Very, very awesome. Next on the list is Margin B, because, you know, he's, he's awesome. Um, and fat, and I like fat, but funny things, because they're just fat and funny. It basically, Martian Boo is create, um, no, Super Boo is created when Evil Boo eats, um, good, no, wait, wait, let's, right, Martian Boo splits into two, Good Boo and Evil Boo, Good Boo looks just like him, Evil Boo looks weird, Evil Boo eats Good Boo, they become Super Boo, they then take... Um, good Boo out, and that brings in um, Kid Boo, that Good Boo now fights. So it's basically Kid Boo versus Martian Boo. And I, I like to call the fat one Martian Boo, even though they're all officially Martian Boo. Just because that's really what I associate him with being. Because Martian Boo, he's Yeah, he's, he's cool, e except for the fact that he was the one that made Beerus in Battle of the Gods try to destroy the world after stealing his pudding, which was kind of weird. That was really strange. Right, now number two is the amazing Vegeta. I haven't actually seen this fight because I missed out half of season 2. I mean 1. I, I watched all of season 2. Anyway, I don't watch very much Dragon Ball Z do I? Anyway, Vegeta is awesome. His hairstyle is awesome. If I ever go to Comic Con, I'm going with Vegeta. Because he's awesome. He was the original baddie in it but he became good and um, Freeza killed him I don't know what happened to him after that I'm guessing someone pushed him back to life and then he became a good guy married Bulma and had a child called Trunks who travelled back in time and turned Bulma on which is horrible I, I mean so awkward so so awkward like liking your own son from the future kind of rank basically but Vegeta was the only one of the four main villains from Dragon Ball Z to have survived wait is this story yet? hmm what do I like care Yeah, he's, he's cool, very cool, and stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, we're still filming this. Huh. Well, um, next at number two, no, last one wasn't number two, sorry, it was actually number three counting, is Piccolo Jr. Um, or as most Dragon Ball Z fans would know him, Piccolo. In fact, he's the son of King Piccolo from Dragon Ball, um, and he isn't actually the other half of Kami King Piccolo is, and but it it gets confusing when King Piccolo has loads of sons named after musical instruments like tambourine and kabasa. I, I think they they're bad guys in it. 
I think one of those two killed Kieran. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, if, uh, just before he dies, he has one last son, Piccolo Jr. And Piccolo Jr. trains Gohan. He becomes a big guy. He fuses with Snail. And he becomes um, the evil version of Kami, like his father was. Just, it's confusing, basically. Very, very, very confusing. Hello, and number one is, of course, the racist, hilarious, Kami, quick butting, um, Mr. Popo. He trained Goku. He's kind of evil. Actually, let me correct myself, he's very evil. Wait a sec. Yeah, subtitles. Nope, subtitles don't work. Anyway, it's it's a he's crazy, he's racist, it's genius. Dragon Ball Z is funny. Everything's funny. It's a funny video. Mr. Popo was. It's hard to believe that he was a good guy. It's. it's never mind. Anyway, he is awesome. He is crazy. He is crazy racist. He is amazing. He was turned blue. Go to CCS regulations or some weird like that, which I don't like because Mr. Popo looks way better black. Not trying to be racist there, but still, whoever made him blue is an absolute idiot. I mean, he's an alien. How's he supposed to be racist? Have you seen the ears? What sort of a human looks like that? Also, he's an evil, scary genie about 300 years old um he's cooler and stuff he's crazy he's evil and some videos just like to have uh, well, it. it was horrible good you survived the first test yep oh they make so many parodies of them Yeah, you, you, you've got to watch this video if you get the chance. It's so funny. Mr. Bobo, where did you send them? I'll tell you where they're not. Save. And who are you? Yeah, it's, it's funny. You've got to watch it. But anyway, that's the end of my list. And I'll see you later. Good. Bye.